Welcome to Rustbuster's installation guide for Chevy's 1973 to 1987 K10 and K20. Before we begin, if you're uncomfortable with any of the processes listed in this guide, we strongly suggest you seek the work of a professional. Ensure you have all the tools and utilities listed and that you're following all the manufacturer's safety precautions during use. Step 1. Disconnect your vehicle's battery and inspect for potential fire hazards such as leaking fuel lines and engine components. Prepare or remove these before starting. Finally, clear the work area of any safety hazards. Step 2. Lift up your vehicle. Using a 14mm socket and 15mm wrench, remove the bolts retaining the leaf spring hanger and center frame cross member. After removing the hardware, cut out the two rivets retaining the leaf spring hanger's bracket. You may need to lift your vehicle in order to separate the hanger from the frame. Step 3. Our part features eight perforated plates on the top and bottom of your frame section to fit over the rivets retaining your factory center frame cross member. If you decide to keep your rivets, cut out the perforated plates. Then, grind the frame free of rust and debris, followed by painting the work area with a multiple primer to help prevent against rust development. Step 4. Slide your leaf spring frame section onto the frame and tap it into place using a hammer. Use the frame holes to help with the alignment. If you install our center frame cross member, use a 14mm socket and 15mm wrench to install the 8 bolts on the top and bottom of your frame rail to hold your cross member and leaf spring frame section in place. Then, hold your leaf spring hanger up to the frame and install the 4 included bolts and nuts on the top of your leaf spring hanger with a 14mm socket and 15mm wrench. Due to there being extra material on the bottom of your frame section, the holes will not line up. We will need to remove the four rivets retaining the lower bracket on your leaf spring hanger. We will need to remove the four rivets retaining the lower bracket on your leaf spring hanger. After removing the rivets, take your leaf spring bracket and screw in two of the included bolts with a 14mm socket and 15mm wrench. To align the leaf spring hanger with the four-wheel drive and heavy-duty bracket, we will need to make some slight adjustments. To do this, we recommend lining up the bracket and leaf spring hanger's holes to the best of your ability. Then, using a torch, burn your way through the holes so the bolts will align properly. Now, you can screw in the remaining hardware retaining your leaf spring hanger and bracket with a 14mm socket and 15mm wrench. Step 6. After screwing in all the included hardware, seat clamp your part into place if needed. Following proper welding procedures, tack weld your leaf spring frame section onto the frame before welding it on fully. Finally, paint the part with primer or other rust inhibitor to help prevent or reduce the risk of rust formation. We recommend our Rust Buster Rust Converter and Primer Spray Paint. Then you're done!